Hi, I'm Miss Sheldon from the Glenwood Springs Branch Library. I'm here today to read you a story. This is Storytime and Chat on Facebook. And today we are reading Wild About Books. And this is by Judy Sierra. And we're reading it with permission from Random House Publishing. Wild About Books. It started the summer of 2002 when Springfield librarian Molly McGrew by mistake drove her bookmobile into the zoo. Molly opened the door and she let down the stair. She turned on the computer and sat in her chair. At first all the animals watched from a distance, but Molly could conquer the strongest resistance. All the animals staring at her. What is she doing? Looking at They're all looking. By reading aloud from the good Dr. Seuss, she quickly attracted a mink and a moose, a wombat, an oryx, a lemur, lemur and a lynx, eight elephant calves, and a family of skinks. Do you see the uh, eight elephants in there? Can you count them? Very good. In a flash, every beast in the zoo was stampeding to learn all about this new thing called reading. Look at that, they're all running to the library. Bookmobile. Forsaking their niches, their nests, and their nooks, they went wild, simply wild about wonderful books. Choosing thin books and fat books and cat in the hat books and new books and true books and heaps of how-to books. Everybody's reading. Look, they're in the bookmobile lab in their own books. And the beavers in there. Giraffes wanted tall books and crickets craved small books. The geckos could only read stick to the wall books. The pandas demanded more books in Chinese. Molly filled their requests, always eager to please. She even found water book, waterproof book for the otter who never went swimming without Harry Potter. Do you see the otter? I think he's right there. Yeah. And the giraffes are reading tall books. One's about a skyscraper. Do you see that? The other's about basketball. Raccoons read alone and baboons read in bunches and llamas read dramas while eating their lunches. See, these guys are all in bunches. These are the baboons right here. These guys are eating their lunch while they read. Hyenas shared jokes with the red-bellied snakes, and they howled and they hissed. Their funny bones ached. A tree kangaroo who adored Nancy Drew began solving, began solving mysteries right there at the zoo. Such as, why were the Bandicoot's books overdue? Maybe they were having too much fun reading their books. Look at that. It's fun to solve mysteries, isn't it? Gently, Molly taught lessons in treating books right, where the boa constrictor squeezed crictor too tight. Baby bunnies munched up goodnight moon with their paws and giant termites devoured the Wizard of Oz. Look at that. Let's see, is that what you do with your books? Are you supposed to eat your books? No, I don't think so. You don't do that. You don't damage your library books because you want to give them back so somebody else can read them, right? <sighs> the bear's love of books was completely outrageous. They licked off the pictures right off of the pages. 
supposed to lick your library books, are you? What else are they doing in there? Huh? <laughs> the Tasmanian devils found books so exciting that soon they had given up fighting for writing. They made up adventures so thrilling and new that the others decided to be authors too. Pythons wrote with their tails, penguins wrote with their bills, and porcupine wrote with their very own quills. See all the people and see the big old long snake writing with its tail. Everybody's writing a book. Maybe that would be a fun activity to try to, to write your own book. What do you think? At the new insect zoo, bugs were scribbling haiku. The scorpion gave each a stinging review. A cannibal twig slightly, silently devours a leaf, eating, not eaten. Oh, calls that pretentious. I dig for treasure in my enchanted castle, a rotten apple, says the millipede, and he calls that boring. As the cheetah's new novel began to take shape, he reads chapters each night to the barberry ape. And although the gazelle couldn't spell very well, like everyone else, she had stories to tell. Imagine the hippo's enormous surprise when her memoir was given the Zulitzer Prize. And her memoir is called, you can see that's called Mud in My Blood. With so many books, Molly knew what to do. She hired 12 beavers, a stork, and a gnu to build a branch library right there at the zoo. When the animals cried, we can do it ourselves. We can check out the books. We can put them on shelves. And they did and they do to this very day. Three cheers for the zooberry. Hip, hip, hooray. Look at that. They're having so much fun at the zoo. Molly's got all those books piled up. The zoo right at the library. When you visit the zoo now, you surely won't mind if the animals seem just a bit hard to find. They are snug in their niches, their nests, and their nooks, going wild, simply wild about wonderful books. See that? They're all reading their little books and everybody's watching them. Look, even the little birdies in the tree up here have their little books and the raccoons are reading. And did you like that? That's one of my favorite books. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Did you know that when you're sharing a book with your child, does not mean that you have to read every single word that's written. Have fun with it. You know, just talk about it. Talk about the pictures. Or even better, have your child tell you the story and uh, see where it goes. Let's have fun. Okay, now let's do a little rhyme. This is called Monkey See, Monkey Do. Um, monkey See, Monkey Do. Little monkey at the zoo. Monkey, monkey in a tree. And then I'm going to do a motion and I want you guys to follow along. So it's going to be clap hands, stamp your feet, pat your head, rub your tummy. Here we go. Monkey See, Monkey Do. Little monkey at the zoo. Monkey, monkey in a tree. Can you clap just like me? Let's continue. Monkey see, monkey do, little monkey in the zoo. Monkey, monkey in a tree, can you stamp your feet just like me? Okay, pat your head. Monkey see, monkey do, little monkey in the zoo. Monkey, monkey in a tree, can you pat your head just like me? Very good. Okay, let's rub our tummy. Monkey see, monkey do, little monkey in the zoo. Monkey, monkey in a tree, 
Can you rub your tummy just like me? Rub your tummy. That's right. Very good. Okay, and you can add as many um, motions as you want to that and just keep on going. Uh, just keep it going and you could add, you know, touch your nose, uh, your shoulders, anything you want um, and go on for as long as you want. In fact, challenge your child to come up with more, um, more motions for you. Yeah, okay, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for joining me and don't forget to comment in the little comment section um, on Facebook. And um, I'd love to hear from you all, and I can't wait to see you all again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.